Hey babes, it's your girl Crystal Lee, aka your High Heel Coach, and today I'm back. I'm so happy about this video because I said I was going to get y'all another video telling y'all a true story about me, and guess what? I'm back. I'm back with my stories, okay? I have approximately two hours before my Houston Hills class, 10 minutes before I even head out to that class because it's a couple of runarounds that I need to do. But I said I'm going to give y'all that 10 minutes and talk to y'all. So this will be 10 minutes max. I don't think it will be 10 minutes. I don't think I, don't think I talk like that. I don't talk that much. We'll see. First off, let me get to talking. <laughs> okay, y'all. So today I decided to talk to y'all about my worst experience with wearing high heels. Okay. I am like... Well, compared to the stories I hear from other women, I don't know if it's the worst for someone else, but it's the worst for me. So with that being said, I'm going to share, you know, what I hate most based off of experience in high heels. And I know, again, like, you know, different women, they'll say like, okay, um, pain in heels is the worst it can get. Yes, yes, I would say that that's like, on a meter, one to 10, that's 10, okay? Nobody wants that. Um, falling in heels is bad. Um, slipping in heels is bad. Those are bad shoe stories that anyone can share. For me, mine is, is when the heel wears out and you can hear this click clack noise from the metal of the heel because the heel has worn out, okay? So, um, I'm gonna share a story about how that happened to me and what contributed to it because I think it's still a correlation with all of the different shoe stories, no matter what, you know, you say what's the worst experience for you. The correlation we all have is that when these things happen to us, when we're wearing high heels, it makes us feel not confident anymore, right? Like if you're wearing a pair of heels, right, and you're like, okay, I didn't get a little slip. You're like, oh crap, like I don't feel as confident. If you fall, you don't feel as confident. If you're in pain and you're trying your best to walk as good and, and concise and, and with grace as possible, you don't feel confident, right? So for me, when I wore a pair of heels and if baby, were you walking on the concrete for a long time, which I do a lot of heels. Like I do photo shoots, video shoots, um everyday type of situation like for instance when i went and got my makeup done i had heels on like i wear heels just because so me unconsciously like i don't be paying too much attention to how often i'm wearing a pair of heels but baby when that when that, that bottle of that heel um wears off that heel cap on the heel wears all the way down and off and that metal is coming out that is the worst so for me very recently, I decided to wear a pair of heels, which this is not the first time it happened. So I don't want y'all to think like I made it all the way to now and now I have a, a bad experience in heels. So this has happened frequently enough and to the point now it makes me cringe. So I decided to wear an old pair of heels, right? You know, we all have those heels like in our closets that we don't really be wearing them for real. We just pull them out every so many years or whatever. And that was for the real shoe shoe lovers. Like, you got a lot of heels. It's so easy to kind of forget certain styles. So, I dug up a pair and I was just like, yeah, I want to wear these today. That was a mistake, okay? So, I put the heels on, went to work. When I was walking on the concrete, the heel didn't feel, like, stable for some reason. I'm just like, hold on. You messing up my walk now. Like, I know I know how to walk in heels. This heel don't feel right, okay? By the time I made it from the parking lot to the front door, the cap on the heel broke, and not the heel itself, but the cap that's at the very bottom of the heel broken off, and now the metal part of the heel is, is what's hitting the surface. So every time I'm walking, like if I'm getting to walk into the restroom or walking throughout the building and it's marble floors, like you just hear this click, 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 click. You just hear this noise that gives you, that puts so much attention on you. It's obvious like, girl, something ain't right with them heels. It, it, it's the obvious sign that your heels are about done. Like you need to either take them to a shoe repair shop and get that cap fix on the um, bottom of them, or you need to just get rid of them, whatever you want to do, okay? 
Um, that is my worst experience when I wear high heels, when that wear and tear happens. Again, it happens. It randomly happens to me. Like, I never look at a pair of heels and be like, oh, these are so old. This has wear and tear. I'm going to wear it. Like, no. I just throw them on. And sometimes you don't even take into consideration, like, let me put these old heels on and test them out. Like, you've worn them plenty of times before. And you're just like, it's just been a while. They've been sitting away. But no, you have to test those older shoes as well. Because even if you've worn them only so many times, like, over time, if your shoe is made out of glue, that glue starts to deteriorate. You know, those stitches start to come out. So you have to pay very, very, very close attention to the high heels that you're wearing, whether they're new or old. And that's a lesson learned for me. That's a lesson I already knew. But again, unconsciously, sometimes I just be on the go and I don't be paying attention and I just be moving around. And now here I am walking around the high heel coach, click clacking in heels and feeling crazy. My confidence is not there no matter how much I can strut in heels because of this, this noise that I'm making. And I, I hate that, you know, heels make a regular click clack noise already and it's fine. But baby, don't don't put that wear and tear click clack noise on me, okay? Don't do that, okay? So my recommendation to avoid that again is to test those old heels out, y'all. Like give them some assessments and examine them, and make sure that they are ready and equipped still for you to wear to whatever the occasion is, uh, whether it's casual or a super high heel occasion, okay? Don't underestimate them because they've been in your closet for a while. Okay? because it could become one of the worst high heel experience for you. Of course, again, painting heels, yes, no one likes that, but I know how to prepare myself for that. Balance, um, the postures, the slipperage, all these other things that a lot of women go through when it comes to high heels, I am already like forward thinking when it comes to putting heels on when it comes to that. But Baby, I'm, I now need to go back to my shoe closet and look at all my older heels that from like five, six years ago. And I need to assess them because I can't have that happen again. So that is a story I wanted to share with y'all that recently happened again. And I don't ever want to go through that again. <laughs> and I want to hope that if I share this story with you, you understand that there are things that I can do too that make me not feel the most confident in heels. And at the same time, it's avoidable. So just because that happened, that doesn't mean for me to just throw away all my heels. Like, all you need to do is just make sure I'm assessing them. Even putting them on, testing them, wearing them around the house, whatever I need to do to ensure that I am still prepared for whatever the occasion is in my heels, okay? So, thank y'all for listening. I'm almost at that 10-minute mark. I got to go. Houston, Texas, I'm here. I'm going to get ready to coach y'all on how to walk in heels, okay?